Renault Logan 2 despite the fact that the second generation Renault Logan is now being assembled at Avto VAZ, the engines are still French, the old familiar 1.6 liter K7M and K4M, but this time strangled by the negative 5 euro environmental standard to 82 and 103 horsepower, respectively. The listed units did not get rid of any of the well-known Logan diseases. The 8-valve K7M also shakes like a frozen chihuahua. The 16-valve K4M can still ask for a throttle gasket replacement, announcing itself with floating RPM. Both of them still have crankshaft oil seals. Sometimes the exhaust system rattles due to the fasteners of the exhaust pipe, and the ignition coils fail for no apparent reason. In general, there are enough little things. Who now without them? But the reliability of the piston allows thousands of so 350 to 400 not to save up for a major overhaul. None of the units consumes oil if you do not ignore the regulatory deadlines. Adjust the valve every 100 TKM, change the timing belt every 60 TKM and the car will at least deliver to the place. In 2016, at the time of restyling, Logan was sewn on a more advanced, from the point of view of Renault specialists, HR16DEH4M unit with an intake phase shifter and a chain. So the owners of a 113 horsepower engine do not have to worry about bent valves and timely replacement of the timing belt at all. Was there really a robot at all? Until now, amateurs and the most inveterate Logans find out that after all there was. It docked only with the 8-valve K7M engine and for a very short time. And those adventurers who bought Logan at the manual transmission managed to quarrel with the transmission due to failures and delays when switching. One can only guess how upset they were when they found out that such a box is also difficult to sell complete with all Logan. The K4M and H4M units were equipped with a DP2 automatic 4 and extra charge, which, on the whole, proved to be worthy. Among the systematic transmission failures, only electronics were noted, or rather, an oil pressure sensor and, less often, solenoids. Both change relatively inexpensively, but in the second case, the transmission has to be completely drained from the automatic transmission. Those who already change the fluid every 50 TKM usually do not know problems with the box. After all, the DP2 has not lost a fair amount of sensitivity to wear products. The mechanical gearbox is absolutely trouble-free in terms of gears, which means that you are unlikely to ever have to disassemble it. True, this is possible under one condition if you do not oversleep the leaky oil seal of the left CV joint. It happens. If luck is not yours, then it would not be superfluous to say that the seal is changed only with the removal of the entire tripod with the gearbox devoid of oil. Under normal handling, the clutch will not be disturbed by the smell of a burnt disc from 150 to 200 TKM. More usually does not live, and so the result is not bad. I would like to say that the Renault Logan suspension, as before, is legendary, not killed, omnivorous, and what else has been written about it, said, filmed, etc., but I won't say, because even from phase two of the first generation, Logan's undercarriage has ceased to cause such impressions. Yes, an omnivore, more precisely, you won't specifically break through such a one, but her resource is quite ordinary, like most, and places even worse. For example, ball bearings often do not live up to 50 TKM. Steering tips, as well as SPU struts and bushings for 100 TKM, are also usually asked for a replacement. Shock absorbers and silent blocks of levers are the most durable of all, they can last up to 150 TKM. For the first time ever, the brakes began to cause complaints. Like the sister Lada Largus, the brake discs wear out sooner than expected. By 90,000 kilometers, these elements already have a solid side, requiring either a temporary groove or a complete replacement of the friction assembly. When owning a Renault Logan, you should be careful and careful in relation to the body, or rather, to its paintwork. The owners complained that the car still seems to be new, but already quite covered with small scratches. It is advisable to immediately cover the arches of the rear wheels with armored film. Also, like with Duster, these places are attacked by stones and other abrasives on the way to the dacha, which leads to a whole scattering of chips, which, unlike scratches, cannot be removed by polishing. 
Everything is the same as before. Some owners are worried about the cracks that have appeared on the body in the area where the roof joins the rear pillar. The owners are worried, although not without reason, but still in vain, since this does not lead to corrosion or any other negative consequences. Russ doesn't really like Logan's body at all, at least until it's broken. Everyone has wanted this for a long time. Renault Logan, although very relatively, can be called comfortable. Yes, there are still no plastic thresholds protecting the interior upholstery, and some trim levels there is even no center console, but due to ergonomics, which they obviously thought about for the first time, it has become unusually comfortable. Climate and cruise control, side airbags, hands-free, it all works as it should, but the increase in electronics inevitably led to some breakdowns. For example, a piece of popular anger was taken over by the left steering column switch, which refused to execute commands or, on the contrary, spontaneously turned on the high beam. In such cases, the entire assembly has to be replaced. Nothing can be done about the hanging fuel level indicator. After refueling, you have to wait a few minutes to understand that the gas station operator did not deceive with the amount poured into the tank. For many, the windshield heating worked only halfway, or rather, the passenger side thawed in winter, but the driver's side, on which everything depends, did not. The cost of a new part for the owners of Logan turned out to be too high, since the problem lay not in the glass itself, but in the banal oxidation of contacts on the way to it. Cleaned up and moved on. Seat materials, of course, are simple they get dirty and shaggy already by 50 tkm. The hard plastic of the panel and upholstery inevitably gives rise to a population of crickets over time. But the steering wheel rim is now wear resistant and does not turn into a rotten sausage, even by 100 TKM. Judging by the fans of Renault Logan, he no longer needs endurance. Wanted comfort? Get it. Here are the options and conveniences for you. Thus, the model moves from simple to complex, where, as you know, not everything is so cheap and reliable. One way or another, despite the increased comfort, Renault Logan has remained a workhorse that you can buy secondhand without much fear. Little things, whether you like it or not, will disturb, but the resource of the main units does not cause any concern. Good specimens are ready to last longer without breakdowns than most of the models we sell, unless, of course, the car has been in a taxi. The practice of selecting used cars shows that Logan, just the same, remains popular among taxi drivers. Approximately half of the cars for sale on the used market show signs of intensive transportation of people. You can determine such options thanks to not the most wear-resistant materials, but rather by the wear of the rear seats, belts, and upholstery. Usually they are clearly worn more than the driver's seat. Naturally, all cars that have worked in a taxi, and not only, have signs of odometer adjustment. It is problematic to determine the real mileage by electronic methods, even if we take into account that the mileage is duplicated in the ABS unit. Indications are easily, and without a trace, cleaned up there too. Focus on the overall wear of the car. By 100,000 kilometers, Logan can hardly be called fresh, but this is only visually. A scattering of scratches on the sides, where in the area of the door handles, chips on the wheel arches. All this can be polished, a little tinted. It just so happened that the owners usually do not follow the technical part either. As a rule, current oil seals do not provoke anyone to repair, as well as knocks in the suspension due to worn ball joints. All this falls on the shoulders of the next owner, who can relatively inexpensively restore the car and drive at least as much more.